This video shows the wafer resection due to the ulnar impaction syndrome, which is essentially a positive ulnar variance of 4 mm or less, secondary to a wrist injury. In this example, we show a malunited distal radius fracture and a prominent ulna. The MRI shows secondary changes in the lunate and the trichotrum, slight edema, and an arthroscopy shows a damage to the TFCC central part along with a small injury to the ulna head as well. So this was through an arthroscopic procedure. A small part of the TFCC was debrided to create a window and an arthroscopic burr is used to debride the ulnar head towards the radial side. One should not debride more than 4 mm and also care should be taken that the sigma notch is not damaged. Intraoperatively, one has to check whether the removal of the ulna head is sufficient. A C-arm can be used to check this. It's a simple and a quite gratifying procedure which allows a quick, faster rehab with minimal damage to the wrist. This completes the procedure. Post-op x-ray shows 3 mm of resection. Pain is relieved on the ulna side of the wrist. Thank you very much.